Welcome to Carly Tackles, an update on a rain barrel system. I originally made this rain barrel system last year. Please check out the original video on how I did it. And after I took it down to winterize it and rebuild it this year, I decided to add a few more rain barrels and also a change a few things on the original design. And I'll walk you through some of those here. I ended up throwing away one of the trash cans from last year. So I did need to purchase four trash cans. I also needed to get nine bulkheads and male adapters for the hoses. Those are like $3. I purchased the cheapest trash cans I could find. They were 32 gallons. And here's the bulkhead I was talking about earlier. This thing is fantastic. The original one that came with the kit, I didn't like it. And this is how I designed it last year. I put the threads on the inside of the can. This year, I put them on the outside. By having them on the inside, I was forcing the water to raise that much higher to go into the next tank. If you get the three quarter inch bulkheads, the inside thread will fit a male end of a hose less pieces you need to purchase. I had the original spigot and was able to reuse it from the last design. I also added my numbers to these cans that I did on the original design. I loved it last year. Shortly after making the video last year, I realized I should flip the lids upside down and put a screen on them to allow them to catch water, not just relying on the gutter. So with these three, I did a six inch hole and taped a mesh and they are connected to the gutter through the daisy chain, but they're also able to collect water where they're at. Thanks for watching Carly Tackles DIY Tools and Gadgets Tips and Tricks. Make sure to check out the original rain barrel video. There should be a link in the description below. Also, if you care to support me, I created a Patreon page. It's patreon.com forward slash Carly Tackles. Thank you.